Hey everyone, it's Russo here again. Hope you're all well. Today, we're gonna go over um, Copic Multiliner. All right, <clears throat> so in a previous video, I covered the Copic Multiliner SP, which is the refillable um, version, same brand. Um, this is just the throw disposable one um, by the same company. So I've got a black here, as you can see, in 0 0.3. And just right off the bat, just wanted to mention the, the nice um, little what do you call it it's not a pattern but a like a background there it's kind of like it's gray but it's has little silver speckles in there it's really cool anyway and the i don't have any other color except this one but there's um a burgundy uh green um I think a brown gray and they all have the their own color on the outside which looks awesome so so as I said this is disposable um, it's pretty much all of it is made of like a plastic um, it's pigment based and let me open it up. You can see it has kind of a, I don't know, to me this would be like an oval shape kind of. It's not a straight slant down and it's not, you know, too square or anything like that. So that's comfortable, you know, when you're, when you're holding it. It's not too thick. Um, it's pretty comfortable. It's <clears throat> very light. And uh, I haven't used this one too much, but it is definitely a good quality pen. But again, I would go for the, the SP since it can be refilled. Um, and it's, you know, it's more sleek. It's got like a, a, a um, I think aluminum body. <clears throat> it's just slightly more fancy looking than these ones, but you know, what's inside is the same. So these ones you can use with Copic markers. So let's say, you know, I draw something and then I want to color on top of it, then that's okay. And if you're doing something like that, I would definitely just want to make sure that the the marker is dry on the paper before going ahead and doing a pass with <clears throat> a Copic marker. Just because, you know, even as it says that it works with Copic markers doesn't mean that it's not going to smudge if you do it like one second after. So they are waterproof. They <clears throat> they don't bleed. And that, again, is once it is completely dry. So the nib sizes, um, I think go from uh, 0 0.03. What do I have here? What do I have? I ha oh, I have a 0 0.3. So it goes from a 0 0.03 up to a one so it's a pretty good range and uh so my the three would be in the middle you know three or five would be around the middle so <clears throat> geez sorry I'm, ha I'm having some throat clearing situation here right now so anyway let's do a little test and see how it looks on paper. Uh, 
Okay, there's an ugly flower for you. Um, it's a good one. I'd say it's pretty comparable to the V5 grip from Pilot. But the this one would be um, a felt tip. This is the ink rollerball. So there's a difference in when you're using it. You can you can feel the difference. You can definitely feel the difference when you're using a rollerball pen versus a felt tip pen. And both are fine, but I guess this kind of the felt tip pen gives you a little bit more like resistance, I want to say, when you're, you know, running it down. Um, but it's you know, felt pens I've used, you know, for over a decade, and I do love them. But as of late, my favorite still remains the, the Sleechy pen, which I also covered in a past video. And I just think that that pen is amazing. But anyway, that's about it for this one. Let me see. Let me cap it up and do my final take here. Um, yeah, so here you have just another thing, pigment ink, water, and Copic proof. That's really important to have if you're going to color something after with a Copic marker with like, you know, colors. It's, it's great to see that on there. Obviously they've created something that works with their own markers it's the same brand so you would want to do that um i i think for for that reason alone it's definitely something to consider purchasing if you are interested in doing work with copic markers or any type of other alcohol based markers and you want to be able to put some line work down ahead of time before you color i would definitely consider something like this so hope you guys enjoyed and have a great day